Hi everybody, so today's lesson is on a maths overview of the redox equation, uh, titration of the hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate um, titration. So we're going to look at 2017, um, most recent one it came up in, and we're only going to focus on the maths, so that means we're going to be ignoring A, B and C, and therefore we're only going to be focusing in on D over here. So let's start off. Calculate the number of moles of iron in 25 centimetre cubed portions of a standard solution. Now, again, divide it up into two parts. The first part, figuring out the number of moles is, and the second part, putting it into 25 centimetres cubed. So, let's look at our formulas and write them down. So, number of moles equals your mass over your MOR. I'm just going to write it down and we'll see if we have everything for us. Um, we'll know fairly quickly. So the MR is handy enough, we can get that. Okay. That will that's never an issue really. Okay. But do we have the um the mass? And if we read it, if we go back up to the top over here and we can see here that somewhere along the lines ah yeah, we're told this here. We're told that this eight point eight two grams there was made up to two hundred and fifty centimeters cubed of water. So it's actually it's a mass that's been dissolved in something and that's important. So we're going to write down a number of moles, and we're just going to make a reminder there that's 8.82 grams per 250 centimeters cubed over the MOR of iron. And if you go on to your, um, if you go on to figure out what iron is, you want to see fairly quickly that it's actually a tricky enough one to find out because look at this one over here. Um, it's an awful one to find out. And I had done previous videos on this to figure out the MR is. Um, so look at those to figure out, um, to see the exact workings out for that one. But for now, I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's 392. Okay, so we're going to get our number of moles here now to equal, if we do that out. Our number of moles is, I'm just going to do it out, 8.82 divided by 392. And if you do that out, you want to get your number of moles to be 0 0.0225 moles per 250 mils. Now, we calculated the number of moles, but we didn't calculate this in terms of 25 mil portions. So I just do a very simple um, step over here. I'm just going to do 20, 250 divided by 25, and if you do that, it goes in 10 times. So therefore, 0. 0 0.0225 divided by 10, and we're going to get our 0 0.00225 moles per 25 centimeters cubed. Okay, um, so that's our answer for the first one. Okay, that was our dilution factor there um, for us. So just a reminder what I did there. I just did my number of moles equals mass of the MOR. The MOR is tricky to, to get, I know that. Um, I realized that, yeah, we're using 8.82 grams, but we dissolved this in 250 mils of water. So um, it's 8.82 grams per 250 mils. So when we got the number of moles, we got the number of moles per 250 mils grand. Okay, but we need to find this in 25 mils. So therefore, I got my dilution factor there of 10 to 25 to 250, and then I divided the answer by 10. Um, and that makes sense, because if you think about it, there has to be less moles in a 25 mil solution compared to the number of moles in a 250 um, centimeters cubed solution. Because um, students are always conscious of um, forgetting um, whether they have to divide or multiply. And just ask yourself um, it logically, will there be more, more moles in a larger volume than a smaller volume? And the answer is yes. And you can go from there. Now, we have part I done. And the second part there is we were asked to find out the number of moles of potassium um, permanganate required to oxidise this quantity of their Fe2 um, plus ion. Okay, now you could do this whole formula, you could potentially do this all out again, but you wouldn't be long figuring out that you don't have the mass of potassium permanganate. But like I always say, just do a little bit of stoichiometry here. If you have the number of moles, and we know the ratio over here, which is 1 to 5, well, then we can figure this out handy enough. So we look, I'm going to do a different colour for this one here now. And you go down here, you go right down your MnO4 minus and your Fe2 
2 plus. And if you're looking at it, we can see that it is 1 is to 5. Now, we already know the number of moles for the Fe2 plus, and that is your 0 0.00225 moles per 25 centimeters cubed, which is what we want to find out over here. So all I do there is I divide this figure here by 5, which will give me what it is over here, because it's um, 5 is to 1. And if I do that out, you want to get 0 0.00045 moles uh, move that across a small bit um, per 25 centimeters cubed and that is our answer for this one over here um, again like if you're if you have a number of moles of something and you want to find out number of moles of something else like you can just apply your ratio there um, and just do a little bit of stoichiometry um, you will have to do it later on in the um, I'll do it later on in different questions in your exam anyhow. Now, the last part, you're asked to find out the molarity of the potassium permanganate solution. Okay, so what can we do over here? So first off, I'm going to get rid of all of this here, just so that we can start fresh. I have their answers written down here anyhow. And we ask ourselves, what are our formulas? Well, there's a couple of different formulas you could use, I suppose. Um, if we have a think about it there, we could do our molarity equals your mass per litre over the MOR. Okay, grand. We can get the MOR fine. That isn't a problem um, on the KMNO4. And the mass, well, we can actually figure out the mass. Um, we could potentially figure out the mass, all right, um, from getting the number of moles over here. But you'd have to be careful there because you, the number of moles you found was in terms of 25 mils, not um, a litre. So you'd have to do a bit of a conversion there. So I actually, I'd recommend not to do that because I find students make the most mistakes when they're doing conversions. Um, let's have a look at another formula we could use. Let's just see if we can use your M1 and um, V1 over N1 formula. So we write down our MN, O4 minus here, split it up and we have our Fe over here. And again, it's broken up into three parts. So you've got your V1, M1, N1. And your V2, M2, N2. And again, we're looking for the molarity of potassium permanganate. So that's going to be our X. We don't know what that is. So do we have all the values for everything else? So let's find out. Um, if we read the top over here, this standard solution was titrated in 25 centimeters cubed portions. So the standard solution being the uh, hydrated ammonium ion, the iron um, two sulfate. So we know the volume of that, 25 centimeters cubed. So 25 over here for our iron, which is found in the um, in the formula here. And on average, 20.45 centimeters cubed potassium permanganate solution. So ooh, that's our titration figure. So 20.45 goes over here. Um, was titrated and we know our n's and the ratio there is fine so that's going to be our 1 is to 5 and you can see that straight off we don't know what our molarity is of the iron so we have to figure out what that, what that is now you might remember at the start there that when we got the molarity of um, well, not the molarity when we got the number of moles before of iron we got the number of moles uh, actually I might do that in a different colour pen we got the number of moles, and that was per 200 and I think it was 50 centimeters cubed. It was, if you look at the top there, um, because we did our 8.82 grams divided by the MOR, which was 392. 392. Okay, um, and when you did that, you would have got your 0 0.0225. So 0 0.0225 moles per 250. Now, 250 goes into 1,000 four times. So therefore, if we just multiply 0 0.0225 multiplied by four, okay, we'll have it in a liter and you're going to get 0 0.09. Be over here, 0 0.09. 
um, for titration figure there. So all we're doing there is going back to a previous question and writing it down. If you didn't know it, just fill it in. Okay, just make something up here, fill it in and carry on. You might as well get as many attempt marks as possible. Okay, so now we have everything filled in, we can actually clearly find out what our X is over here. Um, so if we do that, you would have got your molarity to equal, and I'm just going to tell you this all together, um, just to speed things up a bit, to equal 0 0.022 moles per litre. And that's the answer for, um, for this one over here. So look, all you do is take it step by step. There was a little bit of stoichiometry in it, um, but it's relatively, um, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not a bad question, I suppose. It could be a lot worse. Okay, guys, best of luck with the study.